Hey guys, what is going on? It's Johnny Two Thumbs 17 here, bringing you another episode of my Football Manager 2016 Unemployed Start Save, currently with Stevenage FC. Before I get started, I of course had to do my plug party. Be sure to like and favorite this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe to the channel. If you're on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram, be sure to add me. The name on all those sites is Johnny Two Thumbs 17 and as always, you will find those links in the description below. So this is going to be a transfer window wrap up. Uh, we just ended the month of January. And as you can see here on screen, there is a huge chunk of players that need work permits. And unfortunately, they have all refused to move to our affiliate club. So they're just gonna sit <laughs> in our under 21 squad for the next year and train. Um, hopefully we get moved up to the championship and, you know, maybe score another affiliate club that we can move them on loan to. Um, I keep running into this problem and I keep thinking that I'm going to be able to loan out these players. So far it has not worked. Let's go ahead and take a look at these guys. It's basically a huge crop of young American players that we all, that we signed, um, yeah, free transfers, just straight contracts. Uh, pretty, pretty well rated, considering that we basically signed them blind since we could not afford to scout them. First up is Mayhew. Not too shabby. I think he has a decent base to start from. Um, technically, not the greatest of players, but then again, these are just a lot of guys that we are just sort of taking chances on. Again, they're free transfers. Um, so if we sell them for a bit of money, uh, we make a profit. All we're pay paying right now is their wages. Next up is Victor Hugo Rangel. I'm going to go Rangel because that sounds like a Spanish name. Very good physical stats here. He looks like a pretty decent uh, fullback prospect. Could work on his crossing and passing a little bit, but he has a very good base to work from. Who else is worth looking at here? Chapman, again, another guy that has a very good physical base. Um, another wing back, decent enough crossing and passing. Things that we could definitely improve upon in the future. Again, a lot of, you're going to see a lot of the same things here. Uh, here's a Colombian player, Norena. Again, very good, solid physical stats, pretty good mental stats considering he's only 18 and a good technical base to work from. Again, the story is the same here. We have signed a lot of sort of fullback prospects. Uh, Mark Luban, 18 acceleration, 16 pace, very, very fast player. Next up is Jim Brown. Not the famous Jim Brown, which would be pretty awesome. American football legend. Had to throw in that American there since I'm apparently like one of three Americans that plays this game. Uh, again, 17 acceleration, 14 pace. Uh, this time he's more of a, an attacking player, probably out on the wing. Very good physical stats. Len Hart, extremely well-rounded physically. Uh, excels mentally in a few areas, has good tackling. Definitely a more defensive-minded player. David De La Rosa uh, looks to be solid all around. Not the most standout player in any one area, but just solid, solid stats all around. Matthew Anderson liked him because of his dribbling and finishing. Decent enough physical stats. And we also have Simon Jumper, which is an awesome name for a target man there. Unfortunately, his jumping is only 10, so it is a bit ironic there. Let's go ahead and take a look, if I could find the stupid transfer button, at who else we brought in. We signed, you saw this player earlier in an earlier video, Brian O'Brien. Signed him from Shamrock Rovers. A solid, solid youngster all around, 19 years old. Uh, he's been doing well for us so far. Uh, been using him mainly off the bench. 
the only other player we have brought in is Paul Quinn, who is currently, I believe, on our under-21 squad. Um, not ready enough to step into the senior squad, but definitely has a good base to work from, uh, especially... I think his mental stats are pretty solid. Definitely looking forward to his development. On the other end of things, we were able to get rid of a couple of players, though not as many as I would have liked. Uh, we got rid of Isaac on a free transfer. We just weren't using him. The biggest surprise is that we sold Petchy. He has been amazing for us, but our club is just really struggling financially. And so, you know, there's clubs that were interested in him and he was linked in a lot of transfer rumors. So we had to sort of cash in on him. Just sold him for 325k. Uh, fans were a little disappointed that we didn't get more from him, but it was a non-negotiable offer and we only got the one offer and I didn't want to pass it up. We also gave up on Traore. Uh, he was another player that we needed a work permit for. Uh, Olympiacos came in with a non-negotiable transfer offer so unfortunately we couldn't counter with a loan offer for them to get him like, some experience so we sold him for 275k which was a pretty nice profit on him if I remember correctly I think we might have signed him for free I'm not completely sure on that um, I'll have to look at the older videos but Still a decent enough profit. We didn't really make too much this window, but we only spent the 160000 for Paul Quinn. So we did come out on top this window, not accounting the salaries, but they're all youngsters. They're on like minimum wages. So that is how things look at the moment. Like I said, hopefully we get promoted up to the championship. Uh, after this season and perhaps get another affiliate club maybe a lower league belgium club or something like that that we can loan some of these players out because i'm super excited about the development of some of them so that's going to do it for now once again i am johnny two thumbs 17 be sure to like and favorite this video also don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're on facebook twitter tumblr or instagram be sure to add me the name is johnny two thumbs 17 as always those links will be down below in the description and in the next video, I will be, bring, will be bringing, I believe, I will need to check. I think it's the FA Cup fourth round. Let's double check. Yes, FA Cup fourth round against Charlton. They are a championship side. So it should be a tough, tough matchup for us. We have performed well in the past going up against sides in higher leagues. So I'm not going to count us out, but it will definitely be a tough one for us. So until then... Peace.